Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I am happy to bring you the unbagging of all 22 of the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast minifigures. So right here, I just felt out the full set of the characters, minus Professor Flitwick, who I unboxed yesterday. We will be doing a comparison with him and his 2010 version. And then we also have one minifigure that I unboxed bagged yesterday, which is Percival Graves, who can turn into Grindelwald, so let's take a nice spin around on this character first. Okay, so here is Percival Graves, who is from the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the Movie, which you can see we got some printing on his legs, we got some printing on the front of the torso, we have some very nice arm printing right there on both sides with that whiteness right there, we got some more arm printing on that side. We have some printing on the back of his torso. He comes equipped with a dark tan wand piece. He has a double-sided face. We can spin his head around and you can see that we got Grindelwald right there and we have an extra hair piece in white. So then you can see this is Grindelwald inside that outfit. I really like that they gave him a double-sided face for this. We do get a Grindelwald minifigure inside the Grindelwald Escape set coming out August 1st. I will be getting that and be doing a comparison between the two characters as well. I also really think that that hairpiece in white is very nice. Same as the other hairpiece, which I will just spin around his head and put this hairpiece on so then you can see this minifigure. I really like this hairpiece too because you can see that we use two different colors for the hairpiece. So yeah, that is pretty much all for this minifigure other than him also including an extra wand and then the plate piece. The next minifigures that we got right here is Professor Flitwick, which I did take a look at the 2018 version which comes inside the minifigure series yesterday, but here I just have a quick comparison between this version and the 2010 version. So this minifigure came inside the 2010 Hogwarts Castle set, which that was the first Hogwarts Castle since like 2007, and you know, it's also his first version of him as a minifigure, and this is now his second version of a minifigure for him. He has some printing on the front of his torso, same as the other one. No printing on the back of their torso. The newer one has the tailcoat cloth piece, the other one does not. The 2018 version has a new bow tie piece, and this one just has the bow tie on as the printing. You can take a look at their facial expressions which are totally different. You can see the difference inside their facial expressions which I definitely prefer the 2018 version's facial expression compared to the 2010 version. Neither of them have a double-sided head and I'm just going to switch their hair pieces just to see how they would look with each other's hair pieces which you can see I think that the 2018 version still looks good with that hairpiece, but definitely the newer hairpiece is what sells this minifigure and makes it worth it. Next we get back to this big pile, so I'm just going to grab one randomly out of here and let's open this up and see who is inside. Okay, so here is our next minifigure, Professor Trelawney, who, which this is the second time that we're getting her in minifigure form, which I have to say that this is a very huge improvement compared to the version that originally came out back in like 2003, which that was when they just first started working on making the flesh minifigures and everything, which this one is just overly detailed and I just really love it. We got a nice couple new accessories with her right here. We got this nice little teacup and then this also comes with a nice little saucer right here which has some printing on it. Teacup has no printing on it or inside it. You know this can fit nicely inside a minifigure's hand or you can just put it on the anti-stud on the bottom 
she can just be holding it like that. She comes with a dark brown wand piece. I'm just going to remove both of her accessories just so then we can take a closer look at the minifigure in general. We do get an extra dark brown wand piece and also her stand which comes with all the other minifigures. But, you know, this minifigure is just very nice. You can see that we got the new skirt piece in sand green which that's a first of course for the sand sand green inside that like it's nice i really love that and also we got some printing on the front of it got sand green torso with printing on the front got no printing on the back we can just remove her hair piece you can see that there is no second facial expression for her and that's just her one facial expression. She also has this new piece right here for her hair, which you can see she's got her bandana and everything. And also I really love her hair and like how big it is and you know, it just, just definitely does the minifigure justice. And I'm really happy to add her to my collection. Let's grab another random package. Let's see who's inside this one. Okay, so here is our third minifigure that we got to look at right now, which this is Neville Longbottom, and this is also our first minifigure with the mid-sized legs, which these are like the new miniature legs, like the teenage legs, and they're sort of like the regular mini legs, but they can bend, which is just crazy. They were cut off like a little bit differently. I will be doing a comparison between all three different types of legs, which you can see we got these in just plain old black, which those are definitely very useful just in a plain regular color, but we got printing on the front of the torso. We got printing on the back of the torso. He has some brown hands for his gloves. He does include a nice dark brown wand. We get an extra one of those. I, he does come with one other accessory, which I will show after showing off his minifigure. You can take off his hair piece right here, and then you can see his facial expression, which is just a normal Neville facial expression. And then we have his back facial expression, which you can see he's been knocked out from the mandrake that is included with him. I will put his hair piece on, which I really do love that hair piece in that color, and we have his earmuffs just so then he can't hear the mandrakes because those are deadly and then we can just spin him around and we can take a look at the mandrake okay so here is the mandrake pot which you know that's a very interesting color for them to have the pot as inside that dark brownish orange and then we have the mandrake which you can pull right out which is just like this piece right here I mean it's it's an interesting concept for the mandrake. I would have liked it to be like an actual like sort of like like a baby piece or something like that for the mandrake, but I mean that wouldn't really work out. But you know, I'm happy that we still got a mandrake still the same. This is like the second or third time that we are getting mandrakes. I think we did get them back in 2007, I think, inside that Hogwarts castle which also accompanied with a greenhouse. I just dropped that. And he also has this very nice, like, leafy piece right there up on his head right there, which connects by just regular stuff. So that's pretty much all for the Mandrake. Let's compare Neville with the other Neville. Okay, so here's a comparison between the 2018 series minifigures, Neville Longbottom, and also the Neville from the 2011 Battle of Hogwarts set which you can definitely spot the difference between the minifigures of this one being from year two and this one being from year seven. So it's really cool that you definitely see the character's age in difference with these minifigures. You know, though they're not like inside the same outfits and stuff, you can definitely tell that it's Neville and stuff and it's just really cool and I'm happy that we're getting a Neville minifigure inside the series. Hopefully we will be seeing him inside a set next year or in the future. Next minifigure.
Okay, so here is our next minifigure, Cedric Diggory, which this is also our first time getting Cedric in Lego form. We have seen him previously inside some of the Lego Harry Potter video games, which this is him inside his third task outfit, which is just like right before he gets murdered by Lord Voldemort. Um, which, you know, he's a totally exclusive minifigure. We got a brand new face print, also torso printing on both sides. He has new legs, which you can see we got some printing on the sides of the legs. We got two yellow stripes on that side and two yellow stripes on the other. That torso is just amazing. Hopefully they do make some sets for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and we do get to see Cedric Diggory again, and we get to see... Victor Crumb and Fleur Delacour and everybody from the Triwizard Tournament, which that would just be like amazing if we could get a set with them. He does come with a brown wand. He also has brown hair. I think that hair piece might be new, I don't know, but just a quick little spin around. Like I said before, we do not have another facial expression underneath there, and we do get the Triwizard cup. Let me just move Cedric out of the way so then you can actually see this, which we have the Tri-Wizard cup. It doesn't say cup on it, but it says tri wiz -erd. And then we also have some printing just right up on the top of it. Nothing inside the cup. We do get one of these minifigure plates, and we do get an extra wand for his minifigure. So, that is all for Cedric Diggory. Let's see who's next in our minifigure unboxing. The next minifigure that we got is Queenie Goldstein, which this is another minifigure from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which one thing I really am happy about is that this minifigure seems to be different than the version that comes inside the Newt's Commander suitcase set. She does come with a nice little pastry accessory right there, which is held on by just one stud you can see right there, one anti-stud on the back can remove her accessory just so then you can see her overall minifigure. She comes with a black wand. We do get an extra one of those. She has some printing on her legs which you can notice that it is dual molded half dark blue and half of the flesh color. You also can see that there is some printing on the sides of her legs which you can see also on her feet right there. Some black just to show her shoes. She has some side printing on her legs as well which is very light. You can see lots of different printing on these minifigures legs. It's very awesome. You can also see we got some printing on the front of the torso, some printing on the back of the torso as well. She only has one facial expression which I will take off her hairpiece so then you can see that and then she just has her one facial expression and then she also has this hairpiece, which I think is also in a new color, which is pretty cool. I really love that color for that hairpiece. It'll definitely come useful with making custom minifigures and stuff of certain characters. On to our next minifigure. Let's see who we got. Okay, so here is our next minifigure, which is Hermione Granger, which this is our next minifigure to include the mid-sized legs, which these actually aren't just plain black, which you can see we have some printing on these. Like I said before, these are the new legs. They bend, which, and they're very small, which, I mean, I really love that they actually made a new mini size minifigure bending legs. She does include a dark tan wand piece. We do get an extra one of these. I will show her other accessory in a little bit. She has some printing on the front of her torso, which one thing to note is that all three of them, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, all have different robe types, which I think is really cool that they all include different robe types. We have the back of her torso, which I can remove her hair piece, so then you can see the back of that. You can see the hood on the back of her torso. She does not have a second facial expression, she just has the one. She also has 
This hairpiece, which was originally used for the Series 2 pop star character, now it's in brown, which is very nice. This is the first time that we're getting that hairpiece in that color. So that is all for Hermione. Let's take a look at all of the other versions. Okay, so here is a quick comparison between some of the recent Hermione Granger minifigures. Right here we have the 2018 one from the Philosopher's Stone, which this one comes inside three sets, that being the Hogwarts Great Hall, the Hogwarts Whomping Willow, and the Quidditch Match. Then we have the series minifigures Hermione Granger, we have the Hermione Granger from the LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack, and then we have the Hermione Granger inside her Hogwarts uniform from 2010-2011 which that came inside the Hagrid's Hut set. Let's take a little spin around, which you can definitely see the differences. There's a little bit of a more generic Hermione for the 2010 version. You can definitely see the Philosopher's Stone version inside that Hermione Granger. You can definitely see a year three Hermione inside this one, which you can probably, which I think it would have been nice if they included a time turner with that version of Hermione. And then we have the Lego Dimensions one, which also seems to be just another generic year seven Hermione Granger. Let's take a look at their backs, which, you know, you can definitely see a little bit of a skip inside the hair color inside 2016. I don't think that was a good idea just to have it like that, more of like a blonder brown color. I think that they definitely got to stick with the brown hair for Hermione. That works. And also you can definitely see like how the comparisons between the short legs, the mid legs, and the regular legs right there, which is pretty cool. And then we have just a side view of all their heads and everything. Which, you know, just a little short spin around of what these characters look like. It's pretty cool to see how Hermione has progressed over time. We We'll definitely be seeing more of her minifigure come 2019, as there is lots of Harry Potter on the way. Also, before I move on to the next minifigure, I forgot to just say, we got the plate, we got the extra wand, and then I forgot to show off that we did get Crookshanks, which Crookshanks isn't a new mold for a cat. I would have liked an actual new mold for Crookshanks. We do have printing for her face, of course, which is nice, but overall, it's just a regular cat. And also, I really like that color, though, but I think it could have been a little bit more of a darker orange for Crookshanks. Back to our pile of minifigures. Let's see who we get next. Okay, so here is our next minifigure that we got, which is Ron Weasley, which, of course, this also includes the nice midi legs right there, which we do have printing on those, which is a little bit different compared to Hermione's. I don't know if it's different compared to Harry's. We'll have to take a look at them. We have a different torso printing right there, which is a little bit open. You can see that he opened up his robes just for a little breather, I guess. We got the back of his torso, which you can see same back printing right there with the hood. He has a regular brown wand. He does not have another facial expression if we take off his hairpiece. You can see no other facial expression. I think that they could have done a better job on his facial expression. I don't really care for it compared to the other characters' facial expressions. I think that they could have done a better job on that. And also his hairpiece I think is probably like really good for a year three Ron Weasley, which you know, that is the Han Solo hairpiece, the new Han Solo hairpiece that just came out like a year or two ago, recolored in the dark orange color, which I'm really happy that they actually did that. One more thing I wanted to show off with Ron is one of his accessories, which I'll have to put this up just to compare these guys a little bit better. We got two rats here. We got one that comes inside the series minifigures and one that comes inside the Hogwarts Great Hall set, which you can see that there is a huge difference between these as the one with the minifigures has some printing right there on the front of it, which if I just maneuver this right here, you can see that there is different printing on this character, which you can see that this is a totally different rat. That means that they actually had an idea for scabbers, supposedly, so 
who knows, maybe we'll get a Wormtail minifigure in a future set, maybe next year or something, which that would be definitely worth it. Okay, I thought I'd do a quick comparison between three of the recent Ron Weasley minifigures that we got, that being the one from the Philosopher's Stone from 2018, which is the most recent one that comes inside the Hogwarts Great Hall set. Then we have the series minifigures version, and then we have the 2010 version from Hagrid's Hut, which you can see a difference between these minifigures in height. You can see that we have the shortest one from the first movie, and then we have the tallest one from nearing the last movies. More of a generic Ron being the 2010 version, and then we have year three, and then year one versions of Ron Weasley. Halfway through, let's see what we got next in our minifigures. Okay, so here is Harry Potter. He's holding Hedwig, which let's just do a spin around on Hedwig. Hedwig hasn't changed too much. This version of Hedwig comes inside quite a lot of the recent sets. We do get her in either the Hogwarts Great Hall or Hogwarts Swamping Willow, I don't remember, but we also get Hedwig inside a poly bag that comes out August 1st and is a Target slash Walmart exclusive in the US. Let's just remove Hedwig so then we can take a look at Harry and see what's going on with him. Okay, so here is Harry Potter, which you can see he's got the mid-size legs, which has the same printing as Ron Weasley's does. He's also got new torso printing, which is different compared to Ron and Hermione's, which I really like this torso printing a lot better. He's got his signature dark brown wand right there. He's got some printing on the back of his torso with his hood on it. Let's check if he has a double-sided face. I didn't look. Nope, he does not have a second facial expression, just the one, which I do really like that facial expression. Then we have his hairpiece, which, I mean, a lot of people seem to really like this hairpiece for Harry, but I don't really care for it. I think that they could have done a better job. And also, I still really prefer the original Harry Potter hairpiece compared to any of the newer ones including the one used on the year one version. So let's just take a look at all of the Harry Potters together. So like Hermione Granger, we do have a lot of Harry Potter minifigures right here. We have the 2018 year one one that comes inside the Hogwarts Great Hall and also that poly bag I was talking about before. We have the series minifigures 2018 one, which I just took a look at. Then we have the 2016 Lego Dimensions team pack version and then we have the Harry Potter from 2010-2011 which came inside pretty much all the sets which is pretty cool to see all of these characters together. You can see that the Lego Dimensions version includes the same hairpiece that's used on the series minifigures version and as for the 2010 Harry Potter he has the original Harry Potter hairpiece that's been being used since 2001 and then we have the new hairpiece on the year one version. Here's a back look at all of them. You can see all the backs of all the different Gryffindor ones. You can see the difference in printing on all three of these and sort of similarities between the LEGO Dimensions and the 2010 versions. So yeah, that was a quick spin around at some of the LEGO Harry Potter, Harry Potter minifigures. Also, one other thing to note is that he does come with his stand and an extra wand. Okay, so let's move on to our next character. Okay, so I finished building this minifigure. I just thought I'd show the accessory down here on ground level. So right here we have a nice little suitcase, which this is a new piece altogether, other than the one piece that attaches, which you saw me attach just this little flap. This is also used for the regular book pieces, which I did show one off when I did the Hermione Granger brickhead review, which it's pretty much the same flat piece as on a book. And I will compare that when I get Dobby, I guess, so might as well do that. 
It includes two one by one tile, circular tile pieces right here, which these are different prints, which is very nice to get two different sweet prints. And we can just fold that up. And we have a nice little suitcase. One thing I don't really care about is that the suitcase is much bigger than the minifigure, so you know, you're gonna have to carry it a little weird like that. You're gonna have to carry it like that and you can't carry it on your side that much since it's quite large compared to your minifigure and you're gonna have to have your hand up. So let's take a closer look at Mr. Kowalski. Okay, so here is Jacob Kowalski, which is our next minifigure from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which we do have his sweets suitcase, which I just showed off. I will just put that to the side for right now. He does not have a wand since he's a muggle, or a nomad, as they're called in the U.S. He does have some printing on the front of his torso, no printing on his legs, no printing on the back of his torso, does not have a double-sided face, only the one facial expression, and he also has the same hair used for Cedric in a darker brown, which I do really like that hair piece, it's pretty nice to get, and you know, it's just definitely a very nice minifigure to get. Can't wait to see Newt's Commander, and, and this minifigure will definitely fit in with all the other Fantastic Beast minifigures since you practically get all the main characters all in one series. Up to our next minifigure, let's see who we got. Okay, so here is Cho Chang, which she comes with an actual owl, a, bar a barn owl right here, which this is just completely different to any of the other owls that we've gotten in the past, so pretty nice new color and new printing on this little owl character right here. You can move her owl to the side. You got an extra wand piece in brown. We got the plate. So let's take an overall look at her minifigure. Okay, so here is Cho Chang, which also one really interesting thing to note is that she is our first Ravenclaw student that we've ever gotten in a Lego set or minifigure series. She has a nice cloth piece for her skirt right there, which I mean, with the mini legs that we got here, the, the skirts just look a little too bulky in my opinion. I think that they could have made them a little bit smaller or something, I don't know. But, you know, I just think that they're a little big for the minifigures that have these types of legs. She does have a brown wand like I showed before. Her skin color is a little bit different compared to the actual actor, which is why a lot of people aren't really too happy with how this minifigure turned out. She has a no double-sided face. You get to see the other side of her torso and also the front torso a little bit better. You can see the printing on that. And then also she has this hairpiece in black, which is also inside the dark orange color on Susan Bones, which was our first Hufflepuff minifigure. But overall, I think that she's a nice minifigure, other than the fact that they didn't get her skin tone quite right for the minifigure. But overall, I'm really happy that we got that torso. That torso is definitely going to be amazing for making custom minifigures and stuff. We're getting towards the end. Not too many left. Let's take a look at our next minifigure. Okay, so here is our next minifigure, Mad-Eye Moody, which I decided to show him off down here since there is a lot more room to do that and show off all of his accessories. We do get an extra dark brown wand piece, which I can throw to the side. We have his plate, which I can throw to the side. And then we have some other accessories and stuff. I will be showing off the hair piece once I get to that. He has his staff, which I will just take away. We have this piece right here which I think is new 
which this is really cool. This is his just drinking flask right here. We'll do a nice close-up look at that in a second. Okay, so here is Mad-Eye Moody, which you can see his drinking flask right there. I think there might be printing on this. I don't think so, actually. Just taking a nice quick look, you can see it's two different colors, which you can see it's brown and also gold right up there on the top where you can hold it. This is just an amazingly interesting minifigure. I'm going to remove that off of his hand so then you can see him completely better. We do have some dual molded legs right here, which this is the first time that we're actually getting dual molded legs that are both different with colors, which is just really cool. We got these regular dark tan legs right here, which we can see one side is dual molded with some dark blue, and then the other side we have this metallic silver color right there, not too metallic, but that is for his one robot leg that he technically has. He has a dark tan torso, which you can see we got some printing on the front of that. We also have some printing on the front of his legs as well, which is pretty cool. Got some printing on the back of his torso. His hair piece, I think, is okay for the front. The back, I think, it just doesn't really look right, in my opinion, the back of his hair piece. But, you know, it's pretty nice, still the same. You can take off his hair piece. You can see he does have another facial expression, which we can turn around to the other side of him. And then we have this other brown hair piece, which we can put on there, and we automatically transform him into Barty Crouch Jr., which, this is just really amazing. This is our first version of David Tennant in a minifigure form. So, all of you who are fans of Doctor Who, this is probably one of the minifigures who you'd like to get, though. He does have his tongue out. I would have liked him to actually have a normal facial expression, but that is definitely very cool just to show that this is Barty Crouch Jr., so then people knew who he was and everything. And it's just really awesome that they did that for this minifigure. So then we can just take off that hairpiece and spin his head around and then you can just plop right back the other Mad-Eye Moody hairpiece, which this is the second time that we've gotten a Mad-Eye Moody minifigure. First time back in 2004, back with the release of Goblet of Fire sets. So I'm. this is the first time that I'm getting him, so I'm really, really happy that I'm getting Mad-Eye Moody for the first time. Next minifigure. Okay, so here is Tina Goldstein, which is the other Goldstein sister from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which this is really cool. We got some dual molded legs, some light blue and some black for some boots right there. She comes with a regular brown wand piece. She also includes a hot dog accessory right there, which you can see we also have the hot dog bun inside that new darker tan, sort of darker tan color right there, which is pretty cool. Can move that hot dog just for right now. We'll give it back to her in a little bit. But you can see we also have some nice printing on the front of the torso. We got some printing on the legs. We got some printing on the back of the torso. You can also see that we have another facial expression if we take off her hat right there. We can spin around her face we can show off that facial expression right there for Tina. Pretty cool. I really love this minifigure. Definitely nice improvement compared to the one that's included in the LEGO Dimension pack. So let's take a quick comparison on both of those. Okay, so here is a comparison between the 2018 series minifigures and the 2016-2017 Fantastic Beasts LEGO Dimensions pack version right there, which this is really cool. You can definitely see that they have the same technical printing for the torso, just a little bit different, and they definitely touched up the colors and made them look exactly the way that they did in the movies and stuff. And even they did some recolors on that piece and also her hair. They redid her face, which is totally different. You can see you also have the back printing on the torsos. You can also remove 
those hats right there so then you can see the difference between both of their other facial expressions and then we can just place those right back I definitely prefer the minifigures series version compared to the Lego Dimensions one now which you know you can definitely see huge difference and definitely how well made it was made and it's just beautiful and I'm really happy that I got my hands on it so yeah that's all for Tina Goldstein last couple minifigures that we got let's take a look at who's in this one Okay, so here is Harry in his invisibility cloak, which this is one of the minifigures that I've also been looking forward to. You can see that this minifigure only comes in two bags out of the 60, which if you take off his head, which, you know, I just built him, but, you know, got his pajamas. We'll be taking a look at the overall figure, and then I'll just put the cloak on him. But you can see that this is an entirely new piece right here this entirely new like cloth piece which you can see underneath it this is just wonderful it comes both both the sides it's just wonderful the way that they made this invisibility cloak I do have the one from 2010 2011 right here this is the original invisibility cloak which you can just plop right over your minifigure this one you actually have to put under their head. I do like this one a lot better, though this one is definitely far more superior when it comes to you look underneath it and it's it's just wonderful that you can see like the design of the original cloak. This is definitely from year one of Harry Potter and it's just wonderful that they had made this. Let's take a look at Harry up there. Okay, so here is Harry inside his pajamas right here, which you can see that we got some dual molded short legs right here, which you know, we got Harry's just feet right there. I really like that they made that, like the dual molded feet, you know, it's just very nice that you can just see that it's Harry in his pajamas. He's got some printing on the front of his torso, some printing on the back of his pajamas. He does not have another facial expression, I'll just take off his hair right there. This is the first time that we're actually getting a new facial expression for Harry Potter though, which, you know, is a different smile instead of the double-sided head that comes on pretty much all the other Harry Potters inside all the other different sets. He has his regular dark brown wand piece, same hair piece, like I said before. And then we have the cloak. Let's take off Harry's head so then we can put on the cloak, which there is instructions on how to actually put this on, which I was just putting it on the way that I thought it would go on, which right here we got the instructions on how to put on the cloak. You just put it on one after the other and just have his wand sticking out. So let's just do that. Yeah, and that works a lot better. You can definitely see. This is a wonderful minifigure. I love that they made this. It's wonderful. You can see a nice little spin around of Harry inside his invisibility cloak right there. It's very, very shiny. I really love that. I, I just think that they did a wonderful job with this version of Harry. So let's move on to the next minifigure. Next minifigure. Let's see who we got. Okay, so here is Voldemort right here, which you can see we got Nagini with him. This is an entirely new molded snake piece right here. You can see that we got some printing black right there for the eyeballs of the snake. We only have one place that you can actually hold him, which is like by the end of his tail. I mean, I don't really care for that, but you know, it's nice. We got Nagini as a minifigure. We also have, for the first time, we have a white wand piece, which that's the first time that we're getting the wand piece in white. I'm going to move Nagini to the side, move the wand piece to the side. Let's take an overall look at Voldemort. 
Okay, so here is Voldemort, which I think that this might be one of the more accurate versions of him. You can see that we got the new skirt piece right here in dark green, which this I would have wished that they used for Professor McGonagall. We also have dark green torso with white hands. He has his white wand, which is Voldemort's original wand. We also have only one facial expression since he is a bald minifigure, no hair piece. So, yeah, let's take a look at other Voldemorts. Okay, so here are three versions of Voldemort, that being the 2018 series minifigures, the 2016 LEGO Dimensions Team Pack version, and the 2010 version of Voldemort 2011, which, overall, Voldemort hasn't really changed other than the LEGO Dimensions version not having a nose, which was very odd. You can see that there is some light printing similarities between the 2016 and the 2010 versions. You can see that the 2016 version does have a cape. I think this one originally had a cape, but I just don't have it on him right now. I also have some custom legs for that one, but I switched them out just to make them look like the 2010-2011 version. Here's a back look. The newest Voldemort is the only Voldemort to have the skirt piece, and it's pretty cool that they actually gave him a nose. Unlike every other minifigure in the world, Voldemort is the only minifigure with a nose, which I just think is odd, but you know, pretty cool, still the same. So let's move on to our next minifigure. Okay, I'm back. I decided to take a little break. I have these last seven minifigures left to open. Decided I'd spread out the fun of opening up these packages. The video should be out by the end of today, which of course is today. So let's get right on with the next minifigure. Okay, so here is our next minifigure, Lee Jordan, right here, which he has the mid-size legs as well. You can see that he has those mini bending legs. Comes with two accessories, a dark brown wand, and then he also has a Gryffindor flag, which this is a nice printed piece, and I'm really happy that it's a printed piece. You know, since they don't put stickers inside these series minifigures, it's very nice. I really love that flag. I hope they make some more like flags like that, but with the other houses. Like the other figures, we got one of the stands and then an extra wand piece. You can remove the flag from his hand and then we can just take an overall look at him. He is wearing his Gryffindor robes as well. He has a Gryffindor scarf that dangles down all the way to his legs. New printing on the legs and also the torso. We have some printing on the back of the torso and you can also see the back of the scarf and the hood. He only has one facial expression. I'll just take off his hair piece so then you can see that. And then you can just plop it back on. Nice hair piece for this minifigure. Off to our next minifigure. Let's take a look and see who we got. Okay, so here is Draco Malfoy in his Quidditch outfit, which he comes with new colored broom. We got a dark green broom stick right here for Malfoy. So I guess this is a Nimbus 2001 since this was this version of the Malfoy that we got is based off the one from the Chamber of Secrets. We also do get one of the Snitch pieces, which also comes inside the Quidditch match sets. He does come with a dark brown wand. We also get an extra one of those. We also get, like all the other minifigures, a regular plate. And then we have the overall minifigure itself. Quick transition to that, you can see Draco Malfoy. He has the same short white legs as the Harry Potter, who we got inside the Quidditch match set. He has the same torso as the other two Slytherin team mates that he has inside the Quidditch set. He has a short 
dark green cape, unlike Harry, who has a, a long dark red cape, which, you know, it's interesting that they actually gave Draco a shorter cape and Harry a longer cape. I guess it's because the robes were just reused. It shows just very nice. We also have Malfoy's face, which he only has one facial expression. I'll just take off his hair. Which, it's a different facial expression than the one that comes inside the Hogwarts Great Hall set. I will be doing a comparison, so let's switch over to the comparison. Okay, so here's a quick comparison between the 2018 Draco Malfoy that comes inside the Great Hall set and the Draco Malfoy that comes inside the series minifigures in his Quidditch outfit and the 2010 Quidditch outfit Draco Malfoy, which, you know, you can see they all have the same hair piece but the 2010 version has a blonder colored hair than the other ones. The other ones have a sort of yellow colored hair. And you can definitely see that these two are from the Philosopher's Stone slash Chamber of Secrets, and then as for that one being from one of the later movies. It's very interesting. I really love how like the Quidditch outfit looks compared to the 2010 version. You can see that they definitely updated it and I really hope that they do eventually make Quidditch players from other teams since we did get the stadiums for all the other houses and everything. can also take off their hair pieces right here and we can just take a quick look at their facial expressions. You can see they're sort of similar and then we got the back facial expression for the other Malfoy, so yeah, that is all for Draco Malfoy. Up to our next minifigure, let's take a look and see who we get. Okay, so here is Luna Lovegood, who I think is just one of the most amazing minifigures that comes in here. She includes the most accessories and stuff, per se, which you can see we got a 3x2 printed tile for the Quibbler right here, which you can see we actually have a minifigure's head on there and then the Spectre specs on there. I just really love that they adapted it to make it look as if it was from the Lego world and everything. We do have another facial expression for Luna, but we'll take a closer look at that when we do the spin around. We got an extra brown wand. I'll also remove her wand just so then makes looking at her easier. And we also have a regular plate that comes with all the other characters. So let's take a quick spin around at Luna. Okay, so here is Luna Lovegood, which you can see we got just an amazing minifigure right here. We do have the mid-sized legs in blue. And we do have a nice skirt piece, which you can see has a nice little design all around the minifigure if we just take a quick look. She also has a purple handbag right there at her side, which attaches underneath her head and also against her arm and all that stuff. She also has some printing on the front of her torso, which is a very nice pink color. I really love that torso piece. If we take off her hair piece, you can see that there is no printing on the back of her torso. She does have another facial expression, however, which we can turn around. So then you can see her other facial expression. And then you can see that she has her Spectre specs on, which this version of Luna Lovegood is based off the one from the Half-Blood Prince, which, you know, of course, because we have the Spectre specs. I really love her hair piece. They definitely made a wonderful new piece for her hair, and it definitely works out. And I just love how she looks, and she probably has to be one of my most favorite minifigures that I got in here, other than Mad-Eye and a lot of the Fantastic Beast ones, so, you know... And even the main trio just looks amazing, so... Here's a quick look at both of the Luna Lovegood minifigures, that one from the series minifigures, and this one from the 2010 Hogwarts Express set, which you can definitely see the difference as this one is a lot taller, and this one uses the mid-sized legs. This one also has that printed skirt piece, and this one actually has the printing on the minifigure itself. You can also see a similar comparison between the torsos. They're both the same color, have a sort of a similar printing style, but the difference between the torsos is if you remove their hair pieces, 
you'll be able to you'll be able to see that there is printing underneath the 2010 version there is no printing on the 2018 version you can also see that they are both have the other side of their face with the specter specs on and then the front of their faces are just regular themselves let's just take a switch in hair pieces just to see how it would look with each other's different hair pieces nice quick test to take a look at that I really love both of these hair pieces for Luna. They definitely did a really good job with making her minifigure back in the day as well. Let's take a look at who we got in our next pack. Okay, so here is Dobby the house elf right here, which you can see we got Tom Riddle's diary, which is one of the Hall Cruxes that comes inside this set. I think we get two Hall Crux, the other one being Nagini, but I just really love how he turned out. I think his face is just a little bit weird. Instead of his facial expression being molded on, we have a lot more printing than a lot of the molding that was included on the other one. I will do a little short comparison, but I really think that they did a very nice job with his face. He also can remove the book, which I might as well just take a quick closer look at which you can see we got some printing on the front of the book you can see right there where we stabbed it to destroy the whole crux and then inside we do have one of Harry's socks which this is a 1x2 printed tile piece there was a, another printed tile sock piece back in 2010 which came inside the green Dobby set inside the other book but that was when these weren't like this Three pieces for the book. Really like it. Can't wait to destroy it since it's a Hulk Rux. Then we have Dobby right here, which he also has some dual molding for his short legs right there. Some flesh and also some, some tan. We also have his arms, which are very nice. I really like getting skin-toned arms. We also got his torso, which is also that very nice tan color. We got printing on both sides of that. There's the back of Dobby's head which that is a completely new molded piece that's not a reuse of the old one it's a completely new mold for Dobby's head which I think is very nice so next let's just take a quick comparison between the two okay so here's a quick comparison between the two Dobby's that I own this one is from 2010 which you can definitely tell how old it is based on like most of the eye printing has disappeared you know I got two or three of the freeing Dobby sets and a lot of the Dobbies just their eyes eventually disappear I wish I could get another one of those but maybe like if I find it at a yard sale or something I might get it I don't know but you can definitely see like the difference in their faces and how much larger the head is for the new Dobby and how much more smoother it is and also I think that the older Dobby does a very nice job with the printing. I like the older one a lot better than the newer one's face. I mean, if they could keep like the same printing, but just move it over to the older one, I think it would be a little bit better. The torsos has definitely improved, and also the quality overall. It's just, I really like the newer one better than the older one, but you know, that's just a nice quick comparison. We got printing on both sides of the figures. No dual mold legs for the 2010 version since they didn't do that back then. So yeah, that was Dobby. Three more minifigures to go. Let's see who we got next. Okay, so here is Newt Scamander, which this is just one of the more very interesting minifigures that comes in here. Which, if you look, he does include the new suitcase piece that's also included with the Jacob Kowalski minifigure. This opens up simply just by, it's like a book. Just like Dobby's book, it opens up. Same piece for the front of the suitcase. It's very nice. Got two of those inside the full set can just put that to the side. He does have a new color for his wand, which is a, a nice 
orangish brown color, which we do get an extra one of those. That's very nice. One of the most interesting accessories that comes with Mr. Scamander, though, is the Niffler, which I will have to zoom in a little bit. You can see that we got our Niffler right here. He is so tiny compared to Mr. Scamander, which it's very cool that we got a Niffler inside the series minifigure, so if you don't want to be spending like 50 bucks on one of the new Fantastic Beast sets, which I mean, that is probably one of the best sets that LEGO has made for the Harry Potter, for the Wisdom World theme so far, that suitcase set includes so many amazing new minifigures and like molds and everything and characters and creatures and everything which you know we even get the little Niffler in there which if we do take a look at our overall minifigure itself we have Newt Scamander which you can see he's got some dark brown legs we got some dual moldings it seems also on there and also a lot of printed stuff it looks very nice I really love how they approached his legs we also have his torso I'm just gonna move him just to make him look like he's standing regularly and everything. Also, it's really cool, the detailing on the torso. You can see that we got a little bow truckle right there hiding in his jacket. I just really love how Mr. Scamander turned out, which you can also see we got some light printing on the back of the torso. However, he does not include a second facial expression. If we take off his hair, you can see his one facial expression. His hair is colored the same as the LEGO Dimensions version. Let's just do a quick comparison with them. Okay, so here is a quick comparison between both the 2016-2017 LEGO Dimensions Story Pack version and the series minifigures version of Newt's Commander. They both have the same outfit other than the 2018 version having the bow truckle. You can also see the difference in the printing that they redid the colors just to make it look more movie accurate, which they did the same thing with Tina Goldstein. You can also see that there is no dual molding on the LEGO Dimensions version, and that it's just completely different. With there, you can see that that definitely they changed up the printing on the back. The LEGO Dimensions version does have a second facial expression, the one that we got inside the Series minifigures does not. You can put back their hair pieces. They're both same hair pieces, same color. Faces are completely different. You can see that they definitely changed up that facial expression a little bit. I sort of really like the LEGO Dimensions facial expression a lot better than the 2018 versions. Also, I really love that wand color. It's very nice. So, yeah, that is all for Mr. Newt's Commander. Last two minifigures, I sort of know who these are, but I actually know who this one is already by opening it, so let's see who it is. Okay, so here is Albus Dumbledore right here, which we do get our extra wand piece. We also have his plate, which we can just toss to the side. We also have his two accessories, his wand, which I w would have wished that they actually made a new wand piece, like an Elder Wand piece for Dumbledore. I think that would have been very nice, but maybe they'll just wait a little bit longer to do that. We also have this very nice plate piece right here, which is in a nice metallic sort of silver color, which you can see that we got some printing in there, some swirls of some blue. This is the pensive, which I think it's a very nice inclusion. I hope that they make a Dumbledore's office connection piece to the Hogwarts that we have up over there. That would be very nice if we can get a Dumbledore's office connection piece, but you know, pretty cool can remove that. Let's take a spin around at Dumbledore. Okay, so here is Albus Dumbledore. You can see that he uses the new skirt piece in a light blue color. We got some printing on the front of that. He also has a nice light blue torso, which has printing on one side. Let me just take off his hair piece. You can see that we only have the printing on the one side. I really love that color. It's so nice. I'm just going to also remove his beard 
So then we can just take a look at the underneath all the pieces and everything you can see. Here is his torso and his face. His face is very nice. Works perfectly for Dumbledore. We also have no other facial expression on this character. A lot of these series minifigures only have the one expression, which, you know, it's nice. I like that they only have the one expression, but it would be nice to see two. You also have his beard. Let's just remove that headpiece so then we can take a look at that beard on him which this beard piece is completely new for Dumbledore. I really love that they made a new beard piece and it definitely fits this version of Dumbledore since this is the year three through seven version of Dumbledore though Dumbledore dies in year six which that's a spoiler I guess but you know I really love how this Dumbledore minifigure turned out. You can put on his hairpiece, which is also a new molded piece altogether, and I really love the looks of that. Nice little spin around at that. Really love the cap and how many, like, I really love that shiny gold color right there for the cap. It's just very nice. I love how it looks. So yeah, that is all for Alice Dumbledore. Okay, so here's a quick comparison between three Dumbledores, that being the series minifigures version, the one that comes inside the Hogwarts Great Hall, which this is the year one version of Dumbledore, and then we have the 2010 Hogwarts Castle Dumbledore, which you can see they all have different beards and also have different hair pieces, all of them together, and they all have different colored outfits. The newer one having the skirt piece, the other one in a dark red outfit, which this is the one from years one through two, that being the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. And then we switched over to a new Dumbledore since the actor sadly died. Then we have this Dumbledore for the next couple films to go and ending with that Dumbledore. We also have this Dumbledore which is the same as that Dumbledore but a little bit different since this is the older version when they used the sort of like Santa Claus beard and the older hairpiece. Let's take a look at the backs of these minifigures just to take a nice quick little spin around of them. They look very nice. It's very nice. I really love these Dumbledores. I know I keep saying pretty much the same thing that I love all these minifigures but you know I've been waiting for Harry Potter to come back for a very long time and it's just very exciting. We are here, we're at the last minifigure out of all of them. Let's see if I felt all of these out correctly and see if this is indeed the last minifigure. Okay, so I did feel correctly. This is the last of the Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts minifigures that I needed. So from Fantastic Beasts right here, we got Credence, who is just one of the weirdest minifigures that I thought we could have seen inside the set. Since he doesn't appear much inside the next movie, I don't think, it's only natural that we get him inside here. So let's take a look at his minifigure overall. Okay, so here is Credence. He is an interesting minifigure. We just got regular dark gray legs for him. We also have some printing on the front of that torso. No printing on the back. He does include one accessory, which is a 1x2 printed tile piece right here. You can see, which, it's upside down. Let's turn it around and see what it says. Because I'm looking at the camera to see what it says. Which is, live among us. Okay. That's very nice. We got one of those little pamphlets that he was handing out since he's part of that Salem Witches Institute, I guess. Which, he does have two facial expressions, which is another cool thing. If we take off his headpiece, we can turn it around. And we got his other facial expression right there. One reason why this other facial expression is included is because Credence is an Obscurus, which if you don't know what that is, go watch Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. You'll know what an Obscurious is, which... It's just crazy that they made this character since it's a, such a dark figure within the movie. Same thing as Grindelwald, which is probably why he's a only one per box minifigure. So, yeah, that is all for Credence. So, yeah, I just finished opening up 
all 22 packs of the series minifigures. You can see that I do have 22 of the sheet and also 22 of the bag just opened up and also 22 of the plates. You can also see that we also have 19 extra wand pieces which that'll definitely go very nice inside my extra wand collection since I do have like a lot of wands that for just extras which is very cool. We have the two extra hair pieces that go along with Mad-Eye Moody to turn him into Barty Crouch Jr. and also the Grindelwald hair piece to change Percival Graves into Grindelwald. We also have the broom that comes with Draco Malfoy and also the little flask that comes with Mad-Eye Moody. We also have a lot of the animal creatures right there. Might as well just do a nice closer up look. Like I said before, we have these, we have the wands. Lots of wands, the hair pieces, and then we have all of our animal friends right here. Nagini, we have Crookshanks, we have that barn owl, we have Hedwig, we have Scabbers, we have a Niffler, we have the Triwizard Cup, and we also have the Mandrake. And then we just have all of those just hanging around right there. And that brings us right over to the center with all of the minifigures that we got here. These are all of the minifigures from all of these sets and also the minifigure series. So what we got here are all of the minifigures from all five of the LEGO Harry Potter sets, that being the Hogwarts Great Hall, the Hogwarts Swamping Willow, the Hogwarts Express, the Quidditch Match, and Aragog's Lair, which we got all the minifigures from those sets, which came out July 1st, 2018. And then we have the 22 minifigures from Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts that are supposed to be coming out August 1st, which I definitely got early, which you can see right in front of you. That completes the minifigure staircase right there. I can't wait to get my hands on the Fantastic Beasts minifigures that come inside the two sets also coming out in August. I will be doing a review on the LEGO Harry Potter polybag once I get my hands on that and also the Bricktober pack once we find out more details on its availability outside of the places that actually still have Toys R Us stores. So before we end this video, I decided let's take a quick look and just take a look at all of our minifigures up close. So yeah, those are all of the minifigures from everything that has come out so far but the Fantastic Beast sets. If you're looking for high quality images of all of the minifigures that you see here, you can find them down in the description below on my new website, that being jedijackpenguin.com slash jjplist1. This is a new site that I'm starting to work on. I will do a separate video on it, which it's a new site that's going to be very exciting where you can store your collection and you can look at like anything that pops up. And also a more important part is that you, the viewer, or anybody who's a huge LEGO fan can help out on making the site 100% complete with an awesome collection full of minifigures, sets, themes, and everything else that you can imagine. It's going to be lots of fun to work on doing that. So, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. If you like what you saw in this video, remember to go down in the description below to my Amazon Associates page where you can buy stuff that you see me review, which gives a little bit of money to me, which helps the channel, which is awesome. 
So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!